Uh, so we're now, <clears throat> we're now going to look at how we deal with weak acids um, and calculating their pH. So weak acids are only partially dissociated uh, into their ions when added to water. Uh, so that really uh, accounts for all the organic acids. Um, the, they are all weak acids. Uh, so for example, we have uh, ethanoic acid here, and uh, when that's dissolved in water, the majority of the ethanoic acid molecules remain um, as ethanoic acid, um, and a small proportion dissociate into H plus and the ethanoate ion. So if we compare this um, to hydrochloric acid, um, there'll be many more uh, H plus ions in a uh, one mole per decimeter cube solution of hydrochloric acid than there would be in the same volume of ethanoic acid. So how do we deal with this when we come to calculate pH? Uh, well, we can define a new equilibrium constant, which is known as Ka, the acid dissociation constant. And uh, that is exactly as Kc would be, but is just for uh, acids. Uh, the units um, are always going to be moles per decimeter cubed, um, and Ka, uh, as uh, it tells us in Kc, uh, the bigger the value, um, the more the equilibrium is shifted to the right-hand side, and therefore the stronger the acid is. Um, and we can also calculate uh, pKa, where we take Ka and uh, the, calculate the logarithm of it, and uh, then change the sign. Um, and that gives us a, a more reasonable uh, range of numbers to work with. And for pKa, the smaller the value, the stronger the acid. So we're now going to some worked examples using Ka and pKa. We're going to calculate the pH of some propionic acid. Uh, we've been given K, pKa and its concentration. Because we know Ka, uh, because we, uh, we don't know Ka, uh, we only know pKa, we need to find Ka. Uh, which we do uh, by uh, taking 10 to the power of pKa, and that gives us a Ka value of 1.35 times 10 to the minus 5. We can then substitute that into our Ka expression to find the concentration of H+. And once we have the concentration of H+, we can then pop that into our pH equation to give us a pH of 2.74. Example number two, we're going to find the concentration now of some ethanoic acid. So we've been given the pH this time, so we can find the hydrogen ion concentration. And once we've got that hydrogen ion concentration, we can substitute that into our Ka expression. We know uh, the hydrogen ion concentration, and we also know Ka. And therefore, we can work out the concentration of the acid, HA. And uh, once we've done that, we find the concentration to be equal to 6.58 times 10 to the minus 6 moles per decimeter cubed. Now we're going to calculate Ka for some phenol ethanoic acid. We've been given its uh, concentration and pH. So again, we can calculate the hydrogen ion concentration. Once we have that, we pop that into our Ka expression, but this time we're going to find Ka uh, because we know the concentration. We rearrange the equation and we find Ka to be equal to 4.79 times 10 to the minus 5 moles per decimeter cubed. So you can download this uh, worksheet uh, along with many other resources from the website. Um, if you just follow the link, that will take you to the main index.